guys welcome back to my channel it is saturday so happy saturday happy weekend it's a beautiful day here in san antonio it is really hot um i got my workout in this morning i did about a 50 minute workout and then i did some resistance bands and then i went and rode my bike around the neighborhood for about 30 minutes i did like four miles or so i went up and down hills that was a bitch that was hard but I guess it just builds up my endurance, so it's not a bad thing. Sometimes when I'm working out, I'm just like, I just think, God, like, I just not want to work out anymore. Like, I, I wonder what it would be like just not to work out ever again. Like, just go with the flow and just whatever, not work out. Yeah, that's never going to happen. Yeah, I think that working out is always going to be a part of my ha life. I think, I mean, I seriously, like, just when I'm working out or doing a burpee, like, I just, like, it's like a love-hate relationship. I don't know. Like, I just, sometimes I wonder what it would be like. What would my life be like if I didn't work out, if I didn't run, if I didn't do anything? Bar, cycling, you know, um cross-training, my little dumbbells. I wonder what my life would be like. I don't know, just a random thought. Um, so today's video is gonna be all about the little it bag that has been all over social media. And it's a cute bag, I really like it. Um, just disclaimer, I've had this bag for a while, um, just an FYI. But the bag that I'm talking about is this Prada reissue bag. They have the 2000 and they have the 2005. They have the 2000. I'm not sure if it was made in 2019 or 2020, but it's the one with the little silver strap and it's a, it's like a chain strap. And then, um, it has the bigger, thicker crossbody that you can wear. Some, some girls are wearing as a belt, which I think is a cool thing. And it has that little dingly bag on the side. Um, lucky for those um, influencers that get these bags for free. I mean, that's like awesome. Like I'm nowhere near, like I have 191 subscribers and I get so excited when I see my little number go up, even if it's in a month and I get one subscriber, I'm like super happy. Like I run to my husband. I'm like, Oh my God, I got another subscriber. So anyway, thank you. Getting back to the bag. Um, so this bag is the 2005 and um, the it's all nylon. The only part that's leather is the strap and this little thingamajig right here. And it has um, Prada Re-Edition 2005. So that's the only part of this bag that's leather. What I like about the bag is um, that it's nylon. At first, I'm like, that's a lot of money for nylon, you know? Um, but I'm into short... Like, um, I'm into like small bags right now. Um, so I don't have to worry about it getting scratched. I don't have to worry about, you know, like if I just throw it in my car, it's not, I know it's not going to get scratched. I mean, if you dirty it, you can just wipe it clean with, um, a warm washcloth and it'll take care of that. Um, the only thing, well, let me tell you how I received it. I received it in the box, of course. But I didn't get a Prada box. It came, I have everything here to show you. It came in this little bag right here, which is the Prada bag, which is really cute. I save my bags thinking that I'm gonna like frame them one day and I just don't ever find the time. So it came in this bag and then it had um, the dust bag. So when I saw the dust bag, I was like, oh my God, it's like super small. So I didn't even want to take the bag out of the dust bag because I thought I was going to be 100% disappointed on the size. So this is the little dust bag that it came in. So yeah, my first reaction was like, oh my God, it's going to be so small. So I took it out. I looked at it. You know, um, I inspected it a little bit. And the first thing I looked at was the opening. The opening, guys, is mega small. It is not big whatsoever. However, that was just, that's just one con on this bag. I'm gonna take everything out to show you what fits in here, okay? And you'll be surprised what fits in this little baby bag here. 
Okay, so here's the opening, which is super small. Like, I'm used to bigger openings, see? Okay, there we go, there's the opening. There's no inside zipper, there's nothing, it's just the bag, that's it. I have this little pouch that was gifted to me by Armani, I think they were having like a free gift. And um, I carry this with me everywhere. I have lip glosses, I have my eye drops, I have hand sanitizer, I have my little wipes, and a couple other things. And you can also put cash in here as well. So that fits nicely in here. Okay. I have my credit card holder, which I have a little bit of cash in here, which I shouldn't do because it's stretching the heck out of my little credit card holder. But anyway, this fits nicely right in there. So I have, um, I have my uh, phone, and this is the iPhone X Pro, not the mega big one. This is the smaller version. That fits perfectly in the back. And I also have, just for sizing purposes, because I don't carry this much, these, I don't carry this many business cards, but I have a stack of business cards right here, okay? It's a lot. And I'm going to show you that it fits perfect right in the back here. See? Okay. Have that. Let me grab my, um... I'm gonna grab my keys, give me a second. Okay, I have my keys, but these are actually my husband's keys and this is a lot more key than I carry. Um, mine just has my car key and then it has my office key and the house key. So this wad of keys fits perfect right in there. So I have quite a bit in here and actually a lot more can probably fit. Not a lot more, but a couple other things can probably fit. Like maybe a pack of gum. See if I have a pack of gum here. I don't. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. So if you have allergies, this is like a nasal spray. You can put that in there. Okay. So now I'm going to close it. I'm not very organized in here. There. So, and you don't have to worry about it stretching. Check it out, guys. It's perfect. And it's not like busting at the seams either. So everything fits nice and snug in here. You just kind of have to like work it out a little bit so you don't struggle to um, zip it. You just kind of move things around. But yeah, it fits perfect in here. So I was pleasantly surprised as to what fits in this bag. Okay, um, like I said, the only downfall for me on this bag is the opening. And I don't, I mean, I don't carry wallets. So, you know, for those of you that have wallets, um, I'm sure you can probably wiggle it in there. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a really, really cute bag. And let me show you, I'm gonna get up to show you how it looks on. Um, I am 5'4", okay? So this bag, let me get back, show you. This is what it looks like. How cute is this bag, guys? And I plan on wearing it a lot this summer. Um, when I go to the office, I usually have my long chomp. Let me show you. I have this bag that I carry all my stuff in. Like sometimes, this is like the medium one. I have the large, large one. And then I know that they have a smaller one that you can kind of carry on your forearm there. Um, but this is what I usually carry my stuff in when I go to the office. I didn't have chips. And this one, I just carry my bare essentials for every day. So if I need to run an errand, I just grab my bag. Um, typically, I'll do like a lipstick and my lip gloss in my little pouch, but like bigger stuff, I put it in my truffle um, little pouch, and then I put that in here and I use this for the office. Or if I'm really taking a lot more stuff, um, I have my Louis Vuitton tote. Let me show you, it's my 
often it's a mess, but it's uh, it's that one right there. It's the big one. It's like the huge um, Louis Vuitton tote. But anyway, this is it, folks. This is the bag. Do I think it's worth it? I do. I really, really do. Um, like I said, it's nylon. You don't have to worry about scratches or anything. And I think it's a really, really trendy bag. And I'm so happy that I was able to score one. Um, I'm kind of after the Fendi bag right now, the one with the, um, the bigger Fs. It's like coming back and I've seen it like on some of the models on the reformation. Um, one of the girls, one of the models was, she had the bag and I'm like, I'm totally after that bag. And if we're ever able to go travel again, um, I want to go to California and I want to go to the Fashion File Boutique. Um, I never thought to do that the times that we did travel to California, but um, I'm going to hold off. I know that I have seen a few online on these pre-loved websites, but it just kills me to spend that money like on a used bag. Like that's a lot of money. You know, some websites are asking a lot of money, but I mean, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to just keep my, my eyes you know, peeled for that bag. If I don't get it, it's not a big deal, but I just think it's a really cute bag. And like I said, I'm kind of into the small bags right now. But anyway, folks, this is it. This is a little Prada bag. I do love it. I will link it down below. Um, I'll link down the website. And like I said, if they don't have it, just keep looking and see if you can score one. Oh, and they do have different colors. They have chocolate. They have a baby blue. They have, it's actually this color. This is the receipt or the paperwork. It's kind of like a really pretty baby blue. And they have pink, they have red, they have the beige. The beige is a really pretty color. I kind of went back and forth with that color, but um, I ended up doing the black. But anyway, that is it folks. I'm gonna um, clean my office up a little bit and walk outside. I think I'm going to walk outside and just look at the daylight and just let the sun hit my body for like five minutes or something. I'm going crazy here. I'm going crazy here at home. I don't know what to do anymore. Like I'm just going crazy. I don't know what to do.